Hi, it's Joe. I just watched this crazy video on the murder hornet. Of course, it was all over the news about a year ago that the murder hornet had been found in the United States in Washington State. They had found a couple uh, specimens and they did a DNA analysis and it looked like there were hornets from two different hives. But I didn't really do a heck of a lot of research at the time to see what was going on. I know a lot of beekeepers were uh, concerned about it, but I just happened across a video and I'll show different segments in here. You can watch the whole video. I'll put a link in the description. It has 8 million views and it's been around for 8 years or 10 years or something. So I'm guessing a lot of you have already seen the video, but it's, it, it's just crazy what these hornets can do. They're also called the Japanese uh, giant hornet. That's actually their more common name, but the murder hornet is kind of the nickname that a lot of people call it. But as you can see in this video, they can absolutely decimate a European honeybee colony. European honeybees don't really have a defense mechanism against the murder hornet. The murder hornets in this video, they decimated a high population of 30,000 bees and there were only 30 Japanese giant hornets that were doing the attack. And the honeybees have no defense mechanism against them. The honeybees put up a valiant effort. They try and sting them. They try and ball them. But the Japanese giant hornets, they just completely decimate them. Apicerana, which is the Japanese honeybee, they have developed uh, defense mechanisms against the giant hornet. And what the Apicerana does is when a Japanese giant hornet emits a pheromone that, that attracts other Japanese giant hornets to uh, start attacking. The Apicerana, they will line up in the entrance with a uh, hundred of them or so, and they wait for the first one to come in, and all of them will uh, surround that hornet and start balling them immediately. And what they do is they pack really tightly around that hornet, and they increase the temperature in that cluster around the hornet to 115 degrees. And they also raise the CO2 level in there. And the combination of that kills the hornet. So if they catch it quickly enough, they uh, can prevent an onslaught of attackers. The European honeybee, they, they do ball predators when they come in the hive, but not to that degree. And they don't have that kind of response to the Japanese hornet. So if the Japanese hornet does start spreading in the U.S., it is a big concern. I was looking into what beekeepers in Asian countries do to prevent the Japanese hornet attacks. And they use things like traps. They um, have some kind of entrance guards. They spray them. So there are ways that the beekeepers deal with them. And if they ended up spreading in the U.S., all the beekeepers would have to figure out how to deal with them. I, I was just mostly intrigued by the video. It's just a crazy video to watch. As you saw in the different segments that I showed, the bees are just completely defenseless to these Japanese hornets. And what the Japanese hornets are trying to do is they're trying to get inside the hive and eat the bee brood. They also eat the honey, but they're trying to get inside of there and consume the bee brood, which they'll take to their own larva and their uh, larva will consume that bee brood and they do sometimes feed them adult bees but what they really like is that bee brood it's a much better food source for them so they try and actually get inside the hive and in so doing they completely decimate the population go inside of there and then they start consuming that bee brood so what we have here in the United States we have the yellow jackets and the bald faced hornets they eat bees and they will go inside the hive and they do it, attack them. But if the hive population is decently strong, they can avoid much of the onslaught and uh, beekeepers can trap the, the bald faced hornets and that kind of thing. They are a nuisance to the hives. They do hurt the population, but it's nothing compared to what the Japanese hornet does. I mean, it's just insane. Just look at these videos, look at the pile of bees on the bottom of the uh, bottom board and around the hive entrance. In this particular video, it says that the attack took three hours 
You can see they get tired of attacking. Some of the hornets drop in exhaustion, but the other hornets come and help them. They'll actually feed them and help them get revived. And then all, uh, all the hornets will go inside the hive and start consuming the bee brood and taking it to their larvae. They say that all of the 30 hornets survived the attack. They, they weren't affected at all by the bee stings. The bee stingers won't even penetrate their exoskeletons. They won't even penetrate their bodies. So I just thought it was a fascinating video. I wanted to kind of give some commentary on it. If you want to see the entire video, just click on the link below. I'm not too concerned about it at this point. They found a couple in, in Washington state. Hopefully they don't spread to the rest of the country, but if it does come to the U.S., it's not going to be fun for us beekeepers.